you, Cindy, you identified the biggest problem with intermittent fasting. Now, someone may get like this much benefit by doing that. So if they say, okay, I'm going to eat, eat until eight or nine o'clock, mm -hmm. that's a good place to begin with. I mean, that's, that's a starting point. Better so than nothing. You, <laughs> yeah, it's better than nothing. Yeah. But if you want to see disease reversal, mm -hmm. and if you feel like the weight is still stuck, you need to adjust the back end. You need to adjust that last eating window or the dinner time or snack time window. So that is one of the biggest mistakes people do make is they cut off their eating time very late in the evening and they start late in the morning. And the problem with that is because it's no longer circadian. Mm -hmm. So all of those processes inside the body that are activated during the day you want to take advantage of that time because that's when your metabolism is working the best. So if you're saving a whole backload of calories to eat later in the evening, you've already missed your biggest metabolism window, mm -hmm. you know, so then all of those nutrients that you eat, your body can't process it. So what's it going to do? Going to just it. store it right here. Uh-huh. Exactly. And then you asked a second question about um, the, the, other problem with intermittent fasting is that people are doing different things. So they're, they're not eating for maybe 24 hours or 36 hours, or maybe even longer. Mm -hmm. but that is that is temporarily good for the body. However, when you when you fast for such a long period of time, and then you go back to eating what you normally eat, that can actually be detrimental to the body because it's a shock of sudden food coming back in. Yes. So doing the longer fasts creates some benefit for some people who are doing it correctly. Mm -hmm. And when I say doing it correctly, that means they're already doing time restricted eating mm -hmm. as a baseline. So you kind of want to build a house in different layers, right? Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you build a foundation first before you put in the furniture and the interior decorating and all of that. So fasting means you want to build in time restricted eating first mm -hmm. so that your body knows a, it understands your own circadian rhythm. And then the next level is to try longer fasts, the intermittent fasting longer than 24 hours. But if you don't have the foundation built, then you're not benefiting your body in any mm -hmm. way because still not on a circadian cycle. So the, to me, and from what we've seen in our patient experience over the, gosh, almost a decade now, mm -hmm. that's what we see is that our, our community of people that we've observed using this, and we've observed, it's, it's at least hundreds, possibly even thousands now that we've put through this program, is that you want to get this baseline rhythm built into your body, because the body has memory. Mm -hmm. You're of memory, they will remember when you last ate the day before, the week before, the month before. So you're training it the more days you implement this time restricted eating interval, your body is changing to remember it better and better as time goes on. Mm -hmm.